Academy. Welcome to the virtual graduation ceremony of the Eucharistic King Academy of Sarah Incorporated with its theme, Dominican Education, an unbreakable torch in the eye of a storm. Today is a day of a great celebration of triumph amidst the pandemic that we are facing today. Graduation is not an end goal in itself. It is instead a part of the larger journey of life. This graduation has already shown us how capable we all are of accomplishing our goals when we commit ourselves to them. To start with, we will have an opening prayer by Bella Luella S. Arban, Grade 6 Cuban, and this will be followed by the Philippine National Anthem, Eka Him and Sarah Him. Let us put ourselves into the presence of our Lord, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gracious and loving God, our Creator and Provider, we ask you now for your Almighty Hand to be upon us as we and our families celebrate this grand milestone. Empower us to walk into the future with faith, hope, and great love guided by your light. Thank you for giving us wonderful years in this institution. Those years made us into better individuals by the knowledge and life learning experiences our teachers have taught. Thank you for giving them enough patience to deal with us and facilitate achieve our goals. Lord, thank you for this year that even though we are suffering from pandemic, our school is blessed to operate and provide quality education to learners. Thank you also, Lord, for blessing us with parents who are loving and supportive in our academics. Lord, as we are about to enter another chapter of our lives, we ask you to bless us with strength to handle the challenges that we are about to face, wisdom to learn our lessons, and light to guide us into the rightful path. With the intervention of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we ask this through Christ our Savior, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Community for progress and unity. 
praise to the heavens above, Eucharistic King Academy. Just to give us our modules, activities, quizzes. 
tests and exams, as well as the knowledge and lessons that have been imprinted in our lives. We will be forever grateful. Second, to our dear parents, thank you very much for your hard work and for sending us to an institution which can give us the best education we all deserve. To our alma mater, Eucharistic Academy of Sara Incorporated, we are grateful for the moral values of Veritas, which signifies you, and for the core values of compassion, moral devotion, joy, love, spirituality, and excellence. Above all, we would like to give our great thanks to God for all the blessings we have received and for the protection and good health throughout this whole pandemic year. We, the graduates of Batch 2020-2021, are happy that the people who have played a vital role in our lives are here today, witnessing with us the upcoming milestone that may open up another window for us to show more of our capabilities and abilities. Today marks the day where we receive our diplomas and awards as a sign of our hardships as well as career that we may forever remember in our hearts, mind, and soul. My fellow classmates, graduates, and competitors, I wish you all good luck for the upcoming years and for the challenges that you may encounter. Cheers, be kind to us. And may God in His wisdom bless us with success. Thank you very much. My dear parents, teachers, and graduates, on this day of your graduation, my heartfelt congratulations to all of you. It was not so long ago when your journey began. For most of you, you entered the Eucharistic King Academy with nothing more than a dream. And today, you stand as survivors, armed with knowledge, skills and values to bring this dream closer to reality. To others, especially during this time of pandemic, graduation may simply be equated as a breeze of relief over freedom from school, or buying a new dress or a promised gift. But for us Dominicans, we know it is much more than any of this. My dear graduates, life is an open road, and though you have studied its highways and byways, you are never left without a roadmap. Your parents, your teachers, your manos and manans have constantly been your guide. You are not perfect learners, but we love you, and we would like to see you grow to the best person that you will ever be. Thank you for giving us this, and the school in general the opportunity to be of service to you as your second parents. Never stop praying. The measure of your skills rests not only in your mind but in your heart and they all boil down to one common thing. Be the best you can be at whatever you do and in doing so you will make the world much better i would like to share to you a bit of ralph waldo emerson's advice on success and he said to laugh often and much to win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children to earn the appreciation of honest critics and endure the betrayal of false friends, to appreciate beauty, to find the best in others, to leave the world a bit better, whether by a healthy child, a garden path, or a redeemed social condition, to know even one life has breathed easier because you have lived. My dear graduates, this is to have succeeded. 
for several different reasons. This school year has been one in which we have been prompted to reflect on the many blessings and graces we received. I have, as I do each day, many reminders of the love of the Lord has for all of us. We see in the world today that many of us take for granted what we have. Our lives are often filled with so many problems, difficulties, pressures, which pulls us in different directions from dawn to dusk, that we may forget to count our blessings and to be thankful for each one. May dear sisters, parents, teachers, and graduates count your blessings starting today and you will be surprised it will change your life. May God bless you on your journey towards life and may you live in His wisdom. Congratulations, everyone. At this point, we will have the presentation of graduates and completers. Miss Sefery Baula, Kindergarten Advisor. Every child is a different kind of flower, and all together, they make this world a beautiful garden. I can't believe your kindergarten year is over. I still remember the time when I was assigned as your advisor teacher. During that time, I was hesitant for the reason that I kept on asking myself, how can I handle it? Suarez Emre Zion C. Awesome artist, word weaver, star reader, budding mathematician, tiny tidy, batang masigasi, eager weaver. Vicente Philip Kurt Sklitz L. Awesome artist, word weaver, star reader, budding mathematician, tiny tidy, batang masigasi, eager weaver. Del Castillo Zian René A. Awesome artist, word weaver, star reader, budding mathematician, tiny tidy, batang masigasig, eager beaver. Portal Salve Ruth E. Awesome artist, word weaver, star reader, budding mathematician, tiny tidy, batang masigasig, and eager beaver. Posadas Cariz Eva Grace L. Awesome artist, word weaver, star reader, budding mathematician, tiny tidy, batang masigasig, and eager beaver. Silva Kathlia Venice C. Awesome artist, word weaver, star reader, budding mathematician, tiny tidy, batang masigasig, and eager beaver. Toledo Zandramiel P. Awesome artist, word weaver, star reader, budding mathematician, tiny tidy, batang masigasig, and eager beaver. Miss Ailea Kathleen Gulingay, grade 6 advisor. Happy graduation to you, my dear grade 6. Let me first share with you a remarkable quote from Frederick Robertson, and I quote, Instruction ends only in the schoolroom, but education ends only with life. My dear graduates, it is my pleasure and my honor to be part of your journey all throughout this year. Though 2020 and up to the present is a year full of challenges, sacrifices, and adjustments for all of us, 
I am proud and happy as well because with all your courage to learn and to take the responsibility in answering your modules and complying every requirements given to you, here you are celebrating the day of success. Today, you reaped what you saw. Despite the peak of this pandemic, I have saw your eagerness to feel the room for learning and improvement. Always remember that as long as you are alive, education never ceases. It never stops. You may leave this institution, but you will always be a Dominican at heart. Always carry the values taught by the school. Carry the wisdom and the knowledge imparted by your teacher. Because one thing is for sure, this will be one of the keys to unlock the different levels of success. This is not just your success, but the success of your parents too. Never fail to say thank you. Never fail to say that you love them because they are the pillars of your strength to hurdle these challenges. Let me end this with a quote from Jodie Foster. Your path is your character defining you more and more each day like a photograph coming into focus. Congratulations to all of you and mabuhay! At this moment, let me introduce to you the Great Six Credits. <laughs>
Dormido Charles Angelo L. Academic Awardee Oro Ronian A. Academic Awardee Baang Alaika Francine D. Academic Awardee Bakat Maria Eliza B. Academic Awardee Banyas Frenchy O. Academic Awardee Chavez Melissa Gwen A. Academic Awardee De Petilio Bianca Irene P. Academic Awardee Doranila Eloisa Jane L. Academic Awardee Esada Danjini B. Academic Awardee Etino Eda Claire C. Academic Awardee Ovilios Janine B. Academic Awardee Oliveros Lara Angela S. Academic Awardee Palomar Shanley Kathleen A. Academic Awardee Panes Trexi Nicole D. Academic Awardee Panes Zara May P. Academic Awardee Peniero Allen Joy B. Academic Awardee Swarnaba Trisha May Jones Academic Awardee Verano Micaela Cristel D. Academic Awardee Mrs. Francia May Banza, Grade 10 Regular Advisor Congratulations distinguished learners! Despite the unusual circumstances in which you completed your education, I want to highlight what an achievement this is. Life has a way of providing ups and downs, joys and disappointments, hardships and windfalls. You have a Seeking Academy of Sara Incorporated prepared you just this kind of moment even though you may not feel like you are succeeding in life and things are going the way you wanted. We acknowledge and accommodate your years of study and work and want you to feel good knowing that education and experiences will assist you in whatever challenges come your way again. A candle in the wilderness needs to add new wax every once in a while and I know you'll help to use all shine brighter than ever before. Congratulations! We are so proud of you! And now, I would like to present to you the Great Dan Computers. <laughs> Almario Alexander D. Antupina Jomari Z. Azucena Jan Christophe V. Academic Awardee. Bansagon Charles Benedict A. Bontigao Wipo D. De La Cruz Ray Jasem B. Edro Solano Charles Justine D. Forozono Shaw D. Academic Awardee. Gamurot Jr. Felizardo N. Academic Awardee Longno Lanel Ron Nero J. Academic Awardee Mirador Chester Ken P.
Palangka John Lawrence D. Academic Awardee Panganiban Friends R.J. B. Posadas Alphonse Joff D. Academic Awardee Saliente Peter Joffet A. Tupas Ralph Bien T. Academic Awardee Ventura Lance Hessel C. Academic Awardee Ancino Daphne Rose T. Academic Awardee Apelido Joyce Ann Academic Awardee Azuelo Juzel May Academic Awardee Barcelona Shira Lou B. Academic Awardee Bataanon Angel May L. Academic Awardee Beliocilio Maria Daniela Vesedilias Arian Hope B. Candido Suzanne G. J. Academic Awardee Damaso Jenny Grace A. Academic Awardee Damirez Jerry Lee T. Academic Awardee Diang Mierza Trexi Helena V. Academic Awardee Judos Rose Ann E. Academic Awardee Diom Erich Claire M. Academic Awardee Pondanero Rio J. Academic Awardee Omega Kiana Monica B. Academic Awardee Policarpio Angel Marie Guiana E. Academic Awardee Puerto Isla Grace Justine L. Academic Awardee Salas Diane Joy N. Academic Awardee Sullivan Ashley Shatsi T. Academic Awardee Miss Maria Mayrin Are, Grade 12 Advisor. My warmest greetings and congratulations, my dear graduates, Batch 2020-2021. Graduation is one step on the road to graduating from a life to live. But it's better to be driving on that road than walking. It may be difficult, but you have learned a lot. We are excited to be part of one of your greatest accomplishments. You have worked hard and you've made it despite of our current situation. Your educational journey has prepared you to continue your endeavor towards your goals. Your sacrifices and individual efforts to achieve this milestone are to be commended and cherished. Best wishes to all as you pursue your college education. Whatever you do, never stop learning, exploring, growing, and challenging yourself to be your best. Congratulations and love. And now, I would like to present to you the grade 12 graduates, Bash 2020-2020. Benito Christian, Academic Awardee Alvilar Jet, Academic Awardee Babur Zalmark P, Academic Awardee Barzo Mike Anthony B Basog Freynard A, Academic Awardee Casimiro Fraser John J, Academic Awardee Chavez Alkings B. 
Diaz Prince Brian P. Academic Awardee Makai Mario Jr. B. Ovidius Joshua P. Academic Awardee Patricio Gerald T. Academic Awardee Peliado Vince Geno D. Academic Awardee Segura Rai Nikolai L. Academic Awardee Torrico Jomar Academic Awardee Villaruel Ace A. Academic Awardee Asturias Chani Marie L. Academic Awardee Buenafe Maria Antoinette B. Academic Awardee, Loyalty Awardee Calzado Felerine Grace L. Loyalty Awardee Dayot Kaila D. Academic Awardee Gisadio Gwen P. Academic Awardee Tupas Kim Andrea L. Academic Awardee Ilyarwell Maui C. Academic Awardee Morales Roberto II B. Zamora Arnel Abo Joanna Gray A. Academic Awardee Alasa Charms L. Academic Awardee Arkan Mel Rica T. Academic Awardee Belhira Martin May B. Academic Awardee Canindo Precious Smile B. Academic Awardee Iraya Sara Michelle D. Academic Awardee Valencia Janela B. Academic Awardee Hardships that a teacher has to face 
to educate and put themselves in a difficult situation for these live wires are beyond adorable. But today's way of education, it is very hard for students. But it is especially arduous for teachers to try and teach students with such great distances. They stay up all night and go through such great lengths to provide good education for students. Knowing that some of their efforts would go to waste because of some irresponsible students who refuse to be taught. But still, they never give up on them. Instead, give them a lot of chances. This is a teacher's effort that we sometimes tend to overlook. As what Heidi McDonald says, Sunday is a teacher's day of rest. The rest of the laundry, the rest of the housework, and the rest of the papers. How many words does it really take for us to understand our teacher's efforts? How many words does it really take to make a change? In our teacher's case, a lifetime of words. Teachers hold such a noble profession. They play many roles in a student's life. The role of a mentor, an advisor, a parent, and a friend. They are the ones who provide stairs for us to climb, to pass the doors of the academy, and step into the world of realities and challenges. How many of us have gone to a teacher for help? I can assure you today, all of us, at one point or another, have sought a teacher for help. Be it help with homework, or help with a difficult situation at hand. How many of us have been comforted by a teacher in moments of distress? How many have received good counsel from a teacher or had a teacher listen to our problems? To our teachers who have always been there to hold a lamp in our dark paths, to guide us to our success and even our failures in life. Today, we would like to honor our beloved teachers for all the honorable efforts and guidance to get us through this year. Our teachers who have always been there, gave us a helping hand, never failed to understand us in our difficult times, and never turned their back when we needed guidance and direction. Teachers, we will never forget your love and concern, your intelligence and professionalism. We thank you for all the knowledge that we can now make use as we travel to our next journey. The knowledge that made us more determined, confident, and ready to face more complexities. Today, we thank you for the wonderful people that you have been, that you are, and that you will always be. We can say that, although we may be aggravating at times, perhaps even many times, we appreciate you for who you are. Finally, in behalf of all the students and parents, we wish to thank our dear teachers from the bottom of our hearts for your patience, understanding, guidance, dedication to your work, arduous efforts, concern, love, and for being such great educators. May the Almighty God shower you with good health, great wisdom, and more blessings in your profession and life. Share with you our success. You are the 
foundation of our dreams. Thank you for believing in us. I know that this is just a beginning of another journey, but we are confident that we will reach our dreams because you are the way we need our wings. Congratulations and welcome.
to the Blessed Virgin. I devote myself and uphold the ideals of Saint Dominic in prayer, study, and function. I believe that we are created in the image and likeness of God. I believe in the sanctity of life and the family. To persons, I give my respect and compassion, and to the world that I may dignify it with my divine presence. Because I am responsible for my decisions, actions, and consequences, I believe that I have to be humble in the face of triumph and grateful in glory, graceful in the face of failure, and hopeful in faith. I believe that the truth will set us free. I believe that I have to stand up for what is true and what is right, no matter what it takes, because I am a Dominican. This is identity. This is my family. A Dominican I shall always be, to the name, to the gospel, to the most holy trinity that I praise, I bless, and I preach. This is my goal. This is my like to take this last opportunity to say thank you on behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration of Eucharistic King Academy of Sara Incorporated, headed by our school principal, Sister Maria Rayan Sodaria, OP. Congratulations, Batch 2020-2021! To all the graduates and completers, we commend you for the hard work you put in reaching what you have achieved today. Do not think that learning will stop here. Treat this graduation as a gateway to a higher level of learning. As young adults, a new task is at hand to better understand your craft, master it, and possibly achieve great things doing so. And finally, we would like to congratulate your parents for a job well done in raising such hard-working students. God bless everyone! See you next school year, Ikanians! Laudare, benedecere, predicare! Sorry.